Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps. So uh, today's video, I'm going to be demoing three products from the Luster's Pink line. And I figured I would just show you guys, this is like basically a first impressions kind of video. And I filmed it on my last wash day and I was like, you know what, let me just bring out these new products, try them, and then I figure, you know, we can just explore this product line together. So I wanna talk a bit about these products as I'm showing you guys how it works, how I use them, all that jazz. Now, I know you're like, wait a second, where's your natural hair? So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I've been protective styling for a while. I love to wear wigs because it's a really great way Way to protect my hair, keep it away from the cold and all that like yucky dry weather that's associated with winter, which I'm not feeling. And I found that these past three months my hair has been growing like crazy. You guys will see in the video. So this first product that I'm going to talk about, this is the Luster's Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now, when I used this for the first time, I was so impressed with how quickly it like got sudsy. It's actually a very um, thick shampoo consistency in your hands. So when you start to spread it around on your scalp, it really gets sudsy very fast. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like to use a lot of shampoo, I would suggest definitely diluting it a bit, but it's one that's going to last you for a good while. Now for myself, you know, I spread it around with my fingers and then I like to use my scalp massager and I like to go in and really use that to loosen up any scalp buildup, you know, from the week and all that jazz and styling my hair. And it worked really, really, really well. Now, um, like I said before, I was really surprised how soapy it got. So I definitely learned <laughs> as I moved on to other sections of my hair. But it did rinse out quite easily and I felt like it did not strip my hair of the moisture, which is really important. I felt like my hair was clarified, I got all that gunk out, and it was still nice and soft and moisturized when I rinsed it out. So I'm super, super, super happy about that. I do also love that this shampoo contains shea butter and coconut oil, and it's actually color safe. So if you've got any color in your hair that you're trying to upkeep, this is gonna be a really great shampoo for that. It's also enriched with a blend of natural ingredients, so that's awesome, and it says it's supposed to leave your hair feeling shiny. I didn't necessarily notice any shine, but I did feel the moisturization part of that. Now, it does also say that it helps detangle the hair. I always, always suggest detangling prior to washing your hair, unless you actually have a TWA and you know, it doesn't take you that long to detangle, then you might as well just use a moisturizing shampoo or something like that. But for me, somebody that has quite thick and longer hair, I always have to detangle no matter what the product says. I'm like not risking it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to this product right here. This is the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Moisturizing and Silkening Conditioner. So this is supposed to hydrate and also detangle your hair. And um, it doesn't say, you know, whether it's best to deep condition or rinse out. So I used it as a rinse out conditioner. I just figured, you know, what better way than to test it this way? Because I just feel like most conditioners are gonna work well if you leave it on for half an hour and you sit under the dryer. But I felt like it would be really important to just use this as a rinse out and see what the results were. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna say this, my first impression was I wasn't very impressed by this conditioner. I like a thicker um, consistency for my conditioners because my hair is very thick and I find that's what works well, making sure that it's moisturized, you know, going to styling my hair after it's been rinsed out. This had more of like a thin lotion consistency, if you get what I mean. It did smell lovely, I'll give it that. But I really think that this this is more suited for somebody with like finer hair, maybe less dense hair, and something like 
a curly consistency. I think if you have really tight, dense coils like I do, it's not, you know, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing. I didn't rinse my hair out and think, damn, like I gotta go out and I gotta buy this. You know what I mean? Now, again, it does have that same blend of natural ingredients with the shea butter and the coconut oil. And, um, they also suggest pairing it with the shampoo, which I did. And they also say that, actually, I'm looking at the directions now. So you can use it as a rinse out and leave it in for five to 10 minutes. I definitely left mine in for about five to seven minutes because it takes a long time for me to work through each section of my hair. So by the time I'm done, I mean, it's been in for like, you know, a good while. <laughs> so I gave it some time to work and I just, I wasn't that impressed. I think it's fine, but if you're looking for something with a lot of moisture or your hair is very damaged, this might not be the one for you. Okay, so we're gonna move on to their leave-in conditioner. This one right here is called their Silkening Leave-In Conditioner, and it's by the same uh, shea butter and coconut oil line. Now, I will say that I was very impressed by this. So after I'd gotten out of the shower and I towel dried my hair, I sat down and this was the first product that I put in my hair. I loved how like thick it was and rich and moisturizing. And it's interesting because it was thick enough to like give my hair the moisture and trap the water that was in there, you know, so it could still stay moisturized. But it wasn't so thick that when I added styler in it, it weighed it down too much or or gave it flakes or anything like that. No, it was really, really lovely. And I think um, out of all of them, this is the one that I would probably purchase you know, again and again, I was just so impressed. Usually it takes a lot for a leave-in to impress me and I already have my favorites, but I think this one was the best product out of all three. And they do suggest to, you know, squeeze a little bit in your hand, uh, moisturize it in your hand, you know, just kind of like smooth it around and then apply it to your hair. And then they also suggest using a wide tooth comb to detangle it, but, for me, that part's not really necessary. I like to put it in my hands, use the praying hands motion, and just kind of, you know, gently, evenly coat the hair. I do not apply this to the scalp or anything like that. I use other products for that. This is solely for the hair, and I felt like it did such a great job. My hair was very soft, and I felt like, you know, I didn't need to add other products to like trap that moisture in. Now I will say my own personal hair regimen on wash day is I always add oil after my leave-in because I do do the lock method. So um, I also use their apricot oil. And this is this little guy right here. So it's an ultra light treatment. It absorbs easily. And um, you know, I will say that it's just a very standard oil. I didn't think that there was anything super special about it because I do have actual apricot oil in it. This is more of a blend of oils because on the back it's got apricot kernel oil, it has soybean oil, coconut oil, shea butter extract, carrot root extract, argan oil, and vitamin E. So if you're looking for more of a mixture and you don't really want to make it yourself, maybe you're just a little bit lazy or just that's not your thing, that's cool. And I think this little guy right here is just really great because you can take it around with you. Now, um, I just felt like it was like any other oil. It coated my hair very well, it trapped the moisture, it went really great with the leave-in. Um, so, I mean, it was great. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys like these little product reviews. They did send these products to me, and I want you guys to know that I always keep my reviews 100% real, because ain't nobody got time to lie. But I do want to thank uh, Lester's Pink for sending this to me. It was awesome. I like to try out new products. I love to give you guys my feedback because you want to know how something works before you spend your coins on them, you know? So yeah, leave me any video requests down below in the comments. And I've got some awesome videos coming out this week. So make sure you stay tuned 
follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so you guys can know when I'm putting out my videos. My goal is three times a week. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll definitely be putting up lots of content on here. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!